Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to do a versus video between the Ryobi hacksaw that I got from the UK from a good friend Obi. Uh, he sent me this and it ju was just released in the UK. So the Ryobi is going to go against the DeWalt Atomic. Now this, when it comes to the a hacksaw, uh, single-handed uh, saw, this is the best DeWalt could offer because they do not make any other hacksaw besides the Atomic and then the 12 volt extreme. And the same thing with Ryobi. This is the only one Ryobi uh, makes. I believe they make one more for Australia, but it's a brushed motor. This is a brand new brushed. Why is it brushed? I do not know. It should be brushless. But the DeWalt is brushless. We're going to use the 4 amp hour for the DeWalt, a 3 amp hour HP for the Ryobi, and we're also going to use a 6 amp hour flex volt for the DeWalt and the 6 amp hour HP for the Ryobi. Alrighty, so the Ryobi goes first. Now one thing I did learn after playing with this for a little bit, what this is, this slides off. Hard slides uh, does slide off, but this is plastic. You do not want plastic going against whatever material you have, you want metal. So there's no reason to actually take this off because this will break on any hacksaw if it's plastic. You want that metal. So this stays on, but I did figure out what that's for. What, like what these buttons are for. Now what this is, it's just to stop it when you, uh, you're, pr you're pruning and this stops after you actually make the cut so you don't accidentally slip. See, this is UK, so it's different. Uh, instead of having the model number or anything on the side, it's actually by the battery. So this uh, is model number RY18PSA. Uh, this goes to 1,600 to 2,600 strokes per minute. I do not know what the stroke length is, but I'll put this in right now. And I guess this is ger uh, German engineered. I guess that's what it's possibly saying right here. That is slow, but as soon as it touches wood, it kicks it. You'll, you'll hear the difference. All right, so for the DeWalt, this is model number DCS369. Uh, this goes to variable trigger only. This goes to 2,800 strokes per minute. I do not know what the stroke length is, but we'll put the stroke length, stroke length in right now. And yeah, but because uh, one more sound comparison. Completely different uh, speed, even though that this is only 200 RPMs more than this. All right, remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. Are going to be using two brand new Milwaukee axe blades. This is wood and nails. This is uh, five teeth per inch, six inches. Quick and in, quick insulation. Yep. Pivoting shoe. The Dewalt does have a pivoting shoe. All right. Same thing with the Ryobi. Quick insulation, just like that. Oh, yeah, I forgot, right, will be just pushing. Uh, no pivoting shoe because it, it gives you have the guard right here. We are going to, we're using the, uh, first we're using the 4 amp hour battery on the DeWalt. Battery is full. We are good to go. All right, so ready, go. That is the DeWalt. Time for Ryobi. All right, so ready, go. Time. We are going to do one more test with these batteries and switch over to the Higher output batteries. DeWalt is first. All right, so ready, go. Time. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. It is Ryobi's turn. All right, so ready, go. Ooh. Time. 
time. All right, let's switch over to the higher output batteries. DeWalt is first, battery is full on the six amp hour flex volt. All right, so ready, go. Time. You know, people bash the atomic line, but you know, like, I love the atomic line. You know, like, there's nothing wrong with what the, how this is performing right now. The atomic line is a fantastic line to to, to buy into. Same thing with the with the uh, Ryobi HP system, the brushless tools. These things are incredible as well. But for some reason, a lot of Dewalt fans hate the atomic line. I do not know why. Do not know why. All right, so battery is full. So ready, go. Ooh. Ooh, why, why are you stopping the first? When I did this the first uh the first test this was going through it like nothing. You know, I'm not putting this through too much stress either. I'm not like majorly pressing down on it. You know, the motor is just running. Yeah, the motor is the motor's not smelling like it's burnt. It's not smoking or anything, anything like that. Let's go to four by fours. All right, we are gonna do the atomic first. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. It may take a, it may take in a little while, but the atomic is able to cut that with with ease. It just takes a little bit more time. I think I honestly think the Dewalt fans, the hardcore Dewalt fans, should give the atomic line a little little bit more credit. Ryobi is next. Battery is still full. Yeah, the motor does not smell like it's burning at all. I mean, it's capable of doing it. It might not do it as fast as the the brushless uh, version of the Atomic, you know, but it still do, it still does it, and it's not even designed for this. This is really both of these are mainly pruning uh, bla uh, saws. So just the fact that they're able to do it is amazing. All right, so ready, go. Yeah, doesn't smell burning. It's not smoking at all, but it's capable of doing it. Which you got to give Ryobi credit for that. Like it's not designed. Neither of these are designed for this, but they're both doing it. All right, both of these, uh, both uh, tools are using dull uh, used blades. 
So just bear with me on it because I think this is better than not doing it. Because of the, the vibe pandemic going on, I don't want to go to the store just to pick up new blades. All right, so ready? Go. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, it is Ryobi's turn. Battery is still full. Ready, go. Time. It's capable of doing it. Capable of doing it. Bingo. So alrighty, like I say in every video, I do not know what the results are until I edit the video, but both of them actually performed pretty, pretty well. Now remember the Ryobi is a brushed tool. I wish they made the uh, just a brushless version because the technology is already out here and it's been out for a while, you know, but DeWalt guys, give the Atomic a little break. This thing is actually, it actually performs really well. Let's just do a quick temperature reading. Both, both of these are still cold. They're not really warm. 79 degrees for the Ryobi 77. 76. 79 for the DeWalt. The, these didn't get too hot at all. The Ryobi does not have a light whatsoever the atomic does so the dewalt did make an extreme 12 volt hacksaw which i'll put that up here of the unboxing and test video of that we're going to do versus videos between that and other brands as well within the 12 volt line but this was the versus video between the dewalt and the ryobi uh you can't you can't even get this in america so but the atomic you can so that's pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.